In this video, I'm going to go over this power supply module, which I pulled out of this kit right here. So to begin with, this module is used when you want either a 5 volt or a 3.3 volt power source. By moving this little jumper here back and forth between the pins, we can either set it to 5 volts, 3.3 volts, or if we center it, turn this side off. Right now this side is set to 5 volts, this side over here is set to 3.3 volts. So now this module underneath has these pins here. There you can see them. And the pins start up here and then come down here. And these pins will fit right into a breadboard. And this kit includes this breadboard. So now the pins and the voltage they provide are connected to the power rails. So this side, as we have it set, will output 3 volts of power on uh, this rail, and this one will output 5 volts of power to that rail. So now on the page that I bought this uh, kit from, it said not to apply more than 9 volts to power this module. So luckily in the kit, we have an AC to DC adapter that outputs 9 volts and also the kit comes with a 9 volt battery and a snap that lets you connect it directly to the battery and have the output at 9 volts. The input for the module is right here. So now with the AC to DC adapter I have that plugged in to the input and once I hit the switch and that LED is on now the two rails are powered as I said this one's set to 5 but we can switch that to either 3.3 or to off this one right now is set to 3.3 but we can just pull this out in fact I'll do that now we can just pull that right out and slide it onto the 5 side now both rails have 5 volts. And of course, you can always measure directly with a multimeter. So, as I said, the pins that go on the board, they come up here. And as long as you get a good connection, and you don't uh, short circuit anything, you can see the voltage that's being output. About 5 volts there. I didn't make the best of connections. And also, these pins here, Now that I get a good connection, you can see 5 volts. Also, it's easier if you have something, a conductor connected directly to the rail, you can just get a good spot to make a connection there and get a voltage reading of the voltage at the rail.